Okay, if you look at the board, it's my Premier League season predictions of where I think teams will finish this season. In blue is where they currently stand in the standings with the clubs obviously next to them, the position in the league. In red is where I think they finish. And in purple is the relegation battle and what points you're going to need to win and to avoid relegation. So let's look at it at the moment. Chelsea are top uh, on goal difference from Liverpool. And then Man City are third, Watford fourth, Bournemouth fifth. Spurs 6th, Arsenal 7th, Main Eyed 8th, Wolves 9th, Everton 10th, uh, Leicester 11th, Palace 12th, Southampton 13th, Brighton 14th, Fulham 15th, West Ham are currently 16th after that win, Cardiff 17th, Huddersfield 18th, Newcastle 19th and really in trouble and Burnley are the elephant in the room where I have them finishing but they are currently bottom of the Premier League. Um, right, okay that's the current league standings as this video is recorded on the 17th of September. In red is where I think teams finish. So I, I, I can see, you know, a fair bit of movement. Uh, actually, I don't really see that much movement, to be honest, in the table. Some There's some movement, but not much. Uh, there really isn't much movement as much as you think. Uh, there will be movement across the, throughout the season, but the final reckoning, the bottom half of the table is, is pretty standard, and the top half of the table is actually where most of the movement actually is. Burnley are in 20th at the moment. I have them finishing 12th. I'm going on last season's form. This is why predicting stuff is so bloody difficult. Currently, I have Newcastle at 19th as well. I can see them finishing where they currently are in the standings. They will may go up and down, but I see them finishing where they currently are. Same with Huddersfield. Um, Cardiff, I see uh, finishing last. I, I really do. I can see them finishing 20th and bottom. West Ham, I can see being a place below where they currently are at 17th. They're currently 16th. Fulham, same again, I see them finishing 16th, not 15th, because Burnley hopefully ends up about here. Uh, Brighton, I can see finishing 14th, and Southam uh, 15th, sorry, and Southampton 14th. So they drop a place, because I'm seeing Burnley going up to here. Palace, I see finishing 11th. So they go up a place from where they are. I see there's a standard mid-table, solid mid-table side. Same with Leicester, but I see Leicester getting to the top half of the table. Everton, I can see going up a place from 10th to 9th, and Wolves, I can see dropping back a fair few play four places to 13th, hence why the bottom of the table sh shuffles a little bit. But look, it's, it's pretty standard stuff. I don't see a lot of movement in these teams from where they currently are. Man United, I see gaining a couple of places on their current league position to 6th. I think Mourinho, uh, there's some issues there. I, I don't think he's the man to lead this club forward to, to league success or cup success. Apart from the Europa League, with, I'm not withstanding. I don't see him as, as the guy. Uh, Arsenal, I see staying steady at 7th. I, I don't see much upward movement or downward movement. I can see them staying where they are for this season. Spurs, I can see finishing 4th again um, from where they are currently in 6th. I can see them picking up a bit of form. They need to. Uh, Bournemouth, I can see dropping back a few places from 5th to 8th, but I can still see them being a solid top half table side. And I'm not surprised where they are in the league. Watford, I can see dropping back to 5th. But again... I'm not surprised with their start. Plus, Watford and Bournemouth, unlike teams around them at the moment, do not have European Cup commitments in the Champions League or Europa League, so that's probably working in their favour if they can keep this form up. But I see Watford finishing fifth. As I say, first four. Man City are currently third. I see them finishing second. Uh, Liverpool, currently second. I see finishing first. And Chelsea, I see for going from first to third. So there's going to be some movement at the top. And in the top half of the table, there's going to be a bit of rejigging. But for the most part, the top ten, only one team... Currently in the top 10, will not finish in the top 10. Uh, the bottom 10, one team will get into the top 10, and that'd be Leicester in my eyes. Burnley is the red herring because they've had a poor start to the season, but I, I, I am predicting them to finish 12th. I can predict them turning it around, looking up the last couple of seasons and how they've, they've developed as a squad. Now, the purple writing is what I think points the relegating, relegated threatened teams get. I was going to do the whole board, but then that would be chronic and many colours so I want to keep this simple now I have Cardiff finishing last with 29 points they cannot be as bad as Derby County with 11 no team can be that bad surely um, and I can see them getting about 29 points and I can see Warnock getting sacked before the end of the season although I'm hoping this board proves me wrong uh, Newcastle I can see only a couple points better off with 31 I have deep concerns about Newcastle. And I know a lot. Of, I have a lot of Newcastle United subscribers who are fans of the channel and are Newcastle fans themselves. But I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be a false optimist. I'm going to be generally honest here. I can see them getting around 31 points. This is just a guess. This is all guesswork. There is no research done to this. I'm, I'm, I'm basing it on last season's form and, and their current start of the season. That's it. 
there, there's no let's have a look at long term graphs and advanced stats. This is what I'm looking at the transfer window and the strength of squad. I see Newcastle uh, having a stuttering season unless John Joe Shelby can really start pulling strings. I can see them really, really, really struggling. Huddersfield, I think, I'm finishing above them, 33 points. Um, I can see them having a, a hard season ahead as well. Um, they they look they don't look as good as they did last year. So that's your bottom three, and there's only a few points in it. There's only four points in the bottom three. That's I think how close the bottom three will be. Um, I have West Ham finishing 17th with 35 points, which I think is the safety mark this season. It's 35 points, and I think that's going to be West Ham. They're a slow start. And the issues with the stadium and, uh, and, and and there's a lot of negativity around West Ham at the moment. And I love West Ham fans because they're passion. But the stadium issue is a problem. And I think Pellegrini is the guy for next season. You have to give him time. But I can see them this season, 35 points. Uh, Fulham, I have finishing a place above them in 16th with 37 points. And then Brighton with 39 and Southampton with 40. So there's an 11 point gap between 14th and 20th. That's what I think it comes down to. It's, it's going to be very tight at the bottom of the table this year. To be champions, which I'm predicting Liverpool, but Man City are still obviously favourites as well. You've got to get between 90 and 95 points. I do not see a record breaking season this season. I can, I can see Man City with De Bruyne out. That's going to have an effect. Um, and with the expectation to repeat, uh, that's going to be some pressure on those those players. And it is very, very hard to win back-to-back -back titles. Um, in the modern era, very few teams do that. Um, unless you're PSG, Juventus, Real, well, Barcelona, any of the Spanish clubs that regularly win a couple of trophies in a row, it's, it's very hard to win back-to-back -back, uh, league titles. Uh, it's a long season. Um, and you've got, obviously, the, the Champions League, FA Cup, League Cup, um, Europa League, depending on the cup competitions you're in. And you've got to rotate your squad. So that's where I think teams will finish. Uh, I think the bottom half of the table is going to be exceptionally close between uh, 14th and the bottom and 20th. The, the bottom six places, 11 points will cover them. Um, I, I honestly think it will be less, you know, it may even be less than that. I can see some of these, these clubs um, really, really struggling um, this season. Burnley is... The red herring. We can look at this at Christmas, and if Burnley is still struggling, then this prediction is all wrong, and it mucks up my numbers. Uh, I, I'm also going to put an asterisk next to the promoted side, so I need to get another colour pen. So bear with me, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the promoted sides are Wolves here, who are currently ninth, uh, Cardiff, who are currently seventeenth, and Fulham, who are currently fifteenth. Now, Wolves were the champions of the championship. There you go. Cardiff finished second, and they're the bottom of the three promoted sides right now. And I have them finishing last, and Fulham came up through the playoffs. So there's your three promoted sides. Um, I can see two out of the three surviving. It's 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 difficult. This prediction um, is is subjective. So I, I want in the comment section to see what other people's predictions are, uh, be it relegation, champions, or the whole league structure. I could look at the championship, but that is a far bigger league and trying to predict the championship is is basically um, you, you might as well try and, you know, dive headfirst into a bucket of boiling oil. It's impossible. But the Premier League is a bit more easy to predict because you've got the big four, five, six clubs. But I can see Watford and Bournemouth um, really possibly shaking that up. Uh, and Bournemouth is on a very small budget as well, and they have spent wisely in the transfer market. They've developed players through their system. Eddie Howe is a very, very good, capable manager. And Watford, these two clubs do not surprise me. Watford and Bournemouth do not surprise me. Watford have got a philosophy. Bournemouth have that team work ethic, and they have grown season upon season upon season. And they've had a much better start this season than last season. Last season, there were a lot you know, concerns they might get relegated, and Eddie Howe, they stuck with him. And he stuck with the, the, the programme and they finished rather well and had a good run towards the end of the season. I can see Bournemouth kicking on. I see them finishing eighth, but I wouldn't be surprised if they finish higher. And that's the same for Watford. I have them finishing four, fifth, but I could see them shaking up uh, the European places. These two really giving a go for Europe. Um, Burnley, unfortunately, are, are starting to struggle. Um, 
because they had to start a European qualifying campaign and therefore start their season a bit earlier than other clubs, that may be having an effect having to play competitive games earlier. Um, and they have a very small squad. So, that's my current predictions. As it stands, Southampton are playing Brighton as I make this video. So, whatever happens in that result will have an effect on where teams will be placed tomorrow morning. Now, I could have done this after the result, and that would have possibly made more sense, but I think these two will, will be battling each other for the lower mid-table rights. But it's difficult. I'm not going to predict FA Cup champions or League Cup champions, because uh, that's, you know, knockout competition. But that's where I think the teams finish, and that's how many points I think the relegated teams get. Place your thoughts on where you think teams are going to finish, and with what points, down below. And do you think the champions get more than 95 points, or between 90 and 95 points? That's an interesting one. How many points do the champions get, and what point total do you think you need to have to stay up? Those are questions I want answering. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is a subjective list. This is not scientific. Um, but this is my gut feeling on how teams have started the season and how teams played last season as well. And also their transfer market moves and managers and other issues. So it's not just film on the pitch, it's the whole club. I'm looking at the whole club and the atmosphere and how fans feel, how the club is run and, and, and how the manager interacts with the media and how the tactics work. I'm looking at everything, but it's not, it's not scientific. I'm just getting a feel. So there we go. More scientific. This could all be completely wrong by December. This could all change. You know, Man United might, might go on a winning streak. Uh, Burnley might suddenly win four games in a row and then be up here. Um, Newcastle and Huddersfield, I have some deep concerns about them. I, I really do. I, I feel sorry for Newcastle fans because I know a lot of my subscribers are Newcastle fans, but I'm being brutally honest about where I think your club finishes. And I hope, I, I do hope, they do surprise us uh, this season. But who knows with Newcastle and Mark Ashley and they do that they've, they've been a bit of a yo-yo club so that's an issue but there we go so thank you very much for watching and I'll have some more videos for you soon